hello, 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 right. hello. Um, obviously, we've got Stefan here. Chris is going to be joining us in a little bit. He's just uh, trying to get coffee up and in the house because he's been at work since five o'clock this morning. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, what have we been missing? Obviously, football's on tonight. That's why we're on early today because, uh, yeah, just football in it. Schmuck ball. Quarterfinals. 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 It's coming home. Is it coming home? I don't know. I, don't, I haven't been following it. I haven't been following it at all because I don't really do football. But, yeah, other than... Uh, it's been a very busy week. It's uh, it's very nice to get back in here and start getting a little bit creative again. Been down in the lab this morning, mixing up some stuff that's kind of running low now. So it's it, it has been a lovely busy day. And you managed finally, to get the new new bottle yet? No, mate. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, that, that is going to be fill on demand um, for the next week. There's just so much going on um, that it is going. To, everything's fill on demand this week. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's just been busy, really, really busy at work. And uh, obviously, last week, last week we weren't here. Kind of, no, yeah, I went to see Granny Light Lounge last week. She's in the hospital, so yeah, we had to take a dive out of the lounge. Mm. And I can see Chris in the below here right now. Should we tease him a little bit? Should we tease him in the waiting room? He's in the waiting room, in it. I can see him. But yeah, we'll, 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 we'll be like a, we'll be like the doctors. We'll leave him waiting for fifteen. Yeah, just leave him in here for ten. Let him have a coffee. All right, Chris, give us a thumbs up. We can't the, no one can see you, but yeah, he's, Chris is all right. He's good. Yeah. Uh, but it's it, like I say, it's been a busy week. It's it's just nice to uh, get back live again and start mixing some things. <clears throat> Has anyone been mixing this week? Has anyone been mixing? Has anyone created anything or thought of anything? Obviously, we we're brainstorming all the time, aren't we? Yeah. Um, Stefan's been kind of teasing about a, a lovely tea flavour, like an Earl Grey tea flavour this week. So I'm going to start bashing away and try to kind of do one and uh, put our own little spin in it. I'm at... Forgot about Chris on the bottom. Let's bring Chris in. Hello, Chris. Yeah, bring... Morning. Go up, babe. Go up, babe. Morning. Go up, babe. Uh, don't do early. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gloving up, Chris. I ain't gloving up, mate. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone's had a cracking week because we have just been absolutely rammed. COVID. No, I don't really, really know. We don't talk about it much, but um, apparently it's spiking all over the UK, and I've not been watching it. Yeah, it's up north, you dirty bastards. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't even. Other than work I, and, and like lab and stuff, I don't leave the house. <laughs> Ooh, what you want today? Shrek is on a strawberry custard hybrid custard with hybrid yogurt. Yogurt sounds nice. Sounds yeah. nice. I'm not. A, I'm not a really big fan of making yogurty vapes because that, that weird sour tang that you can get can taste a little bit like off naughty. So I, I try. I, I like. I like Whitlicker's version of the yogurts. They're quite nice. We, the we forest might fruits is nice. Yeah, the forest fruits is quite nice. I think during the week we made a nice, like, kind of uh, milky granola with berries. That's really nice. That's only had four days, Steve, and that's really nice. So I have been trying to get in there when I can. So it's ready then, right? No, it's not ready yet. Perfect. Mate. It's not ready yet, mate. But, um, four days, that's all we need. Yeah, what's everyone vaping on? Four days? I thought it was five days. <coughs> no, Show us your deck. Now. Show us <laughs> your deck, Stephen. What have you got? What have you been getting this week, mate? Um, I've got the. I'm on the Titan V2 on my DNA hog. That's one big bitch. That, that's a that's yeah. a big mod and a huge, huge tank. What what capacity yeah. are we looking? That's a uh, the 20 mil glass, but it's got a 32 mil glass in the box. So that's only a little one. Yeah, this oh. is the little version. Yeah, that's the baby one. Um, and that's well, uh, I'm on gr I'm on Grilla Warfare in that. Yes. Grilla Warfare is um, a very, very nice thing. I'm on the Drag Free with the Ultim Nightmare. On some Earl Grey tea. Yeah, that's why we're talking Earl Grey, isn't it? You just want us to try and uh, do something. Um, yeah, this is this is. I'm on the, the stack. I've I've not been off this for about two wait well, since two weeks ago. It is really really bloody good, and I'm a bit on this because I just grabbed it out of the cupboard because I've been busy setting up. So this is Amatoriums, a Vitalize, and Mint Cake. Let's see what it's like on a stacked. Um. Oh, so Chris, Shrek. let's see your new new. 
Yeah, it shows you all the new Shrek's back in the mixing bar. The sound of it, excellent. Went for a long rolling flavour. That's what we need. Chris, what do you want? Oh, I've got to move. Oh, shit house. Oh, shit house. <laughs> I like your jacket. It's nice. Thanking you. Uh, I've just woke up, so it's just like, oh, I'm so warm and lovely and toast. Oh, I've got to move. Odin 250, blot RTA. Nice. Oh, Jake in the house. How are you doing, sir? Hello, Michelle. Michelle just joined our little team of lovelies. Yeah, I'll uh, get the top cap back on. There we go. And have a go at Vitalized by the Amatorium on a stacked. Nice one. It reminds me of some, I know it's supposed to be Kendall Mint Cake, but it does remind me of like a flavour of old, like a Hangson kind of flavour, a little bit. Um, Ooh. <laughs> oh, so yeah, like I say, this week we've made a lovely cereal, which is going into the steam cupboard. That's one we're working on for another little company. And it tastes really quite good. Um, Chris is on about energy drinks. Stefan's on about tea flavours. Um, I'm just trying to think what I've come up with this week. Not much, to be fair. We're still waiting for the trifle. <laughs> Jake, uh, yeah, we're still story, waiting for the trifle. Story of my life. Still waiting for the trifle from the charity event. Um, 40 tonight. Could you ask for whatever? That's why I'm doing so much. <laughs> yeah, that, that's why we're early, damn it. You know, we thought we'd jump over into YouTube land and just get it done early so we can sit down. I don't like football. I don't like many sports. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I like to get physical and actually do the thing rather than sit down and watch it. So, yeah, I'm, I, I will be watching tonight purely through force. I'll have a couple of cans and just chill out and laugh when people are going mental. Cut the titties. You, go, you just got to kill a couple of tenants then, yeah? Yeah, <laughs> tenants. Carlsberg yeah. strong. It's Carlsberg special brew, mate. What, 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 what was I drinking last the other week? It, it's the same stuff, mate. Of all three cans, are still two in the fridge. I never drink. All the group, but never really into watching it. I'm the same, mate. I've, I've never been. A, a I'm the same. I, I just, I don't like it. It's a terrible. Have idea. you watch, uh, uh, <laughs> Jake? Have you been watching the Lions Door? The other two don't even know what Lions Lions Tour is. I'm guessing that's to do with rugby. Rugby Sweet. boys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sigh. Well, I'll pop in. I'll pop in and watch you guys tonight. In between the, the, the big shouts, but you know, has anyone else got a partner that demands your attention while in the room with them? So I'll probably have my headphones in and like, yeah, 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 while trying to watch the football. I'd watch it the now. thing is, I don't live with mine, so you lucky uh, bastard. Yeah. You lucky bastard. Mine's by appoint you... appointment only. <laughs> yeah, that's the best way. That's the best way. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, other than obviously the obvious, that that's why we were away early today. Um, you might notice the the name on the live show, Troll Juice. Obviously, there's been a bit of bother this week, <laughs> so. So yeah, if, if anyone has any comments on how, how to just co maintain composure when getting trolled, drop them in the comments and we'll have a good giggle. Are you drinking a Yago? I'm all, I'm all about that and prebiotics. What, 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 did, what did you just call that? Yago or whatever is it? Yago or something? It, it, it's it's a, yeah. a certain brand's version of Yago and it's really quite good. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm so boring, man, because I, I, I barely drink and, and I try to get the good stuff in. Like a little baby yogurt. Mm. Yago, not yako, yago, 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 mate, yago. But I drink those when I'm when I'm mixing because it, it's it, the like, accent. It's the accent. Yago, bruv. Yago, but they, they cleanse my palate. So like, I'll just have to take a pack of yako, yago or whatever, whatever it's called <laughs> down to the lap, and in between, I'll I'll be drinking yako and like very citrusy, like like Earl Grey's and stuff like that, just to cleanse your palate. Is what I do. Um, the Aldi version. It's 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 kind of along those lines. Um, there, there are many supermarkets in the UK, and that one's called it sounds something like Presco. So yeah, that's that one. So what what's everyone want to mix? Troll juice. What what can we make? 
what can we make that's like kind of green and sticky and All right, like a green slush? <laughs> yes, I, Jake, yeah, I don't drink a smoke, but I've got a goat sucking us off under the counter. He's, he's an all or nothing kind of guy. <laughs> yes, that's that's how you you know that that is how you deal with trolls. That that is brilliant, man. <laughs> I love it. Yes, you, you you kind of take yourself too seriously. First off, you know we're, we're non-fallible, and um, we all have our little quirks. Um, so yes. more than others, just embrace yourself and kind of know who you are. I suppose know know who you are, and just if someone's taking a piss, just, just take it, just take it, and laugh at it. And you know, if you take the piss out yourself, then no one else can. Which is kind of what we do on a daily basis, isn't it, fellas? So, so we, we, we kind of rip each other, rip each other anyway, all every single day, and it's fun. Thick skin, thick skin. skin, thick skin. You're from down south, so yeah. <laughs> it's just like a walking shit show, isn't it? It's a walking shit show. <laughs> yeah, I'd get stabbed. I'd get stabbed walking to the shop. You know what I mean? Yeah, daily, daily, in it, in it, lad. <laughs> but yeah, it's like downtown That's... Baghdad out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, Not really. <laughs> right. Just having a look. Chris has been hungry me to make like a, a floaty or a, a cream soda for a hell of a long time now. So I think ten well. weeks, eleven weeks now. Yeah. Chris, have you tried the Dr Pepper cream soda? What? <laughs> have you tried the Dr Pepper cream soda? No. Yeah. Is it try good? it. It's, yeah, it's really good. It's an American. You have to get it imported, though. But there's loads of sellers. There's loads of sellers that are like, you know, them sweet shops, them American sweet shops. You can get it from there. But you mean like where they buy it for like a quid and then go, you know what? £10 per can seems just yeah, right. I think, it, I think I paid like 20 quid for 24 cans. Reasonable. Bargains. Yeah. Chris likes, what, you get three pallets at a time, don't you? Three crates at a time, don't we? Three pallets. Like, I like worth of cream soda. Yeah, they do. A, they do a cream soda and they do a vanilla cherry float. I don't think I like any beverage that much to buy three three uh, quid of it. Just so. Uh, it didn't last a month, Peter. Seventy two like, cans. But it's like I don't have a favorite beer. You know, I, I'll, I'll always get like a mix and match of oh. like different beers and that. And I, I'm not a big. I like little bits of everything. I keep going back to either hobgoblin or black sheet. I'm a Guinness drinker. It is. It is a bit different. You know, three pallets is a different... different. <laughs> three pallets would be probably, what, 80 crates? So, yeah. Mm. You probably would buy, if they were cheap enough, you probably would buy three three pallets, to be fair. I'm a Yorkshireman. If I could get it at a reasonable price, of course. We're talking it down, yeah, if they knocked it down to 10 pence a tip, Chris would be all over that. <gasps> <laughs> is that the bar cream soda you drink, isn't it? It is. Yeah. One in the pink can. Right, so I'm I like the ice cream soda at the moment. Mm. Looking for ingredients to make a cream soda. Any suggestions, Stefan? Our little guru. Jake, um, I, I went through 16 cans in, what, 36 hours? You're going to need fizzy. Something good. fizzy. Yep. Something fizzy make feel good. Um, cream soda, proper floats made with lemonade, isn't it? It is kind of lemonade or... Yeah. If you go an ice cream float, it has to be lemonade and ice cream. So, yeah. So what I want to use. A bit of V-Bic. I'll tell you in a second. We have all sorts of little 10 mil bottles that, you know, never see the deal like, so we might as well have a look and see what we can use today. Jake, everything sounded fine until you said max, and then I was just out of the room on that one. It's just like, if I don't get my sugar, what's the point? Like my my favourite flavour at the moment, cherry blossom tea. By liquid balm. I don't know why, I'm just all over that at the moment. I've made all sorts with it this week. When's coffee two coming? Coffee two. It's still steeping, man. It is still steeping. 
Can you go Cause show it's a, it? Because it's a new, I know we have the, the mother, but if we kind of just introduce a new flavour into it, so it, it's a starting the whole process over again. Michelle says ice cream cherry coat, uh, cherry float. Oh, that sounds good. We'll use some of that. So we are going to be using some of this energy drink just to, to uh, try it out. And that it should have an element of fizzy in it, so we shouldn't have to um, introduce it. Chris, have you, um, have you used Escribe yet, or are you just using the base out of the box profile? Out of the box? <laughs> Sounds about right. But it, do, it do, does have a little little scully on it. So, me. Mm. It's fine for me. It has a skull. Once you once you get into e scribe, it's a bit like what the hell, and you have to sit there like trying to work it out for a bit. But yeah, it, it'll be fun when I can be bothered to turn on my laptop, <laughs> which is a rabbit hole I don't want to go down. There's got to be so many updates. Windows Ten has thirty seven updates. Where's the sausage jacket out for I left it at work, mate. Oh, is he on about your Michael Jackson one? <laughs> Pepsi Max. It's a cherry, cherry cola float. Cherry he, he left the jacket. He left the jacket um, around the kids' ass last night. <laughs> <laughs> we going there? <laughs> we are going there. See, this is why. <laughs> right, I am looking for flavours. I thought we had a lemonade already. But it appears we did. You could just go for that sort of uh, energy drink cream soda and just blend those. But what I'm going to do is... Like, I... could go like limeade. Lime I want to use some sparkling wine by in a way around and kind of make a base with a bit of lemony. You've not got no champagne. No, we don't have much up here, mate. Um, we are building it up up here, but can't obviously bring stuff home unless it's just ready for scrap. <laughs> but, yeah, no, but you don't want to be taking bottles out of the lab to bring to a home environment. Yeah, they, they, they're all there, um, so we can't actually bring them home. So anything we have, we just like ordering, trickle feed it in. A bit early for that talk, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I want to start. I want to start. I want to open up my phone and do it on here, so then I can see what's going on in the comments, you little monkeys. Um, just for no notifications. Jim mentioned you in a comment. Right, let's open it up, and then I'll drop the linkies in here. That's a loud, loud uh, bit of next to that. It's like, turbulent. Fuck you. Yeah. Mm. Fuck it out, Sam. So nice, it. Right. But what if you're running it at then? What, the, this? This is at 130. <laughs> I don't vape under, I don't really vape under like 120. The hog's at 170. But then with the pre the preheat and the boost, it, it hits the coils at two forty, I think, to begin with. But they are they are massive coils. They're four mil um tricore fused claptons. They're twenty six wrapped in thirty six. Uh, three 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 cores are twenty six wrapped in thirty six. And they're seven wraps, so they're about fourteen mil long. So yeah, they're they're big boy coils. I missed that one diameter. Four mil. Four millimeters. That's yeah, you have ball. to. It's because the wicking ports are so big. You have to have big coils. I tried is three mil. Is there any any point using like cotton, or do you just go to the supermarket and just pick up a pack of tam tampons and just <laughs> use that? It's it's already the perfect size. It's just... 
It used it half a stri- it used it used half a strip of cotton bacon. <laughs> right, Chris, you know with this uh, energy drink float. Kinda how 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 much flavouring are you fancying on the energy drink? Do you want it? Imagine you were making it in reality and you had Lunch. some lemonade and and some energy drink. How, how would you be comboing that up? Uh, three, Primar- four primarily, yeah. yeah. It's 35 the energy drink to like 75 percent, 65 percent. Get the bloody math right. Um, it's all about the maths. Right, so we'll have a go at that. Energy drink, and that's for Suggested at point eight. Um, that seems about right for this mix, to be fair. It's going to be. Anyway, no. No, 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 no. That joyous yeah, no. occasion when your batteries are too low. Ugh. Right, so that, I just, the reason I ain't been vaping the hog is because I've been waiting for the batteries to charge and they just finished and I just whacked them in. Charge faster, spare sets. Uh, <laughs> What's that thumping? It sounds like someone's doing something. It's my little it's my little foot. It's my it's my <laughs> thumping of waiting for the batteries. <laughs> Tapping away. Um, my favourite lemon, obviously juicy lemon, everyone knows it. It's in everything. That's not. But there's a certain brand that kind of uses it as a running theme through their liquids, and I quite like that brand. So, yeah, I do quite enjoy it. It's it's like a, it's a chemically tasting, and that might sound a bit weird, but it's like a, a pharmaceutical taste of. Um, you know, like medicine when you were younger, the antibiotics, it kind of tastes a bit like that, a little bit. So I'd say it's a, it tastes a bit like limoncello mixed with that kind of antibiotic note that you used to love so much when you were a child. So that's going in. I think it's just you on that one. I hated that stuff. Oh, the banana I like the, one. I like the banana one. The banana one? You disgusting me both. You know that chemically taste? You know that weird yeah. taste in that? that that's, imagine that putting the a lemon. That, that's pretty much what that tastes like. It, it's not an off note, it's it's its own kind of um, own kind of flavour. So we're going to use that as the base. So we've got sparkling wine, you know, where uh, energy drink full of water and juicy lemon. Um so that kind of is the base. And we need to look at the creamy elements and the, the Yeah, Chris. Uh, 170. Oh my word, I need a vape. I need to drink a coffee as well. See you later, Jake. Nice drop in there, man. Thank you. She blows. She blows. So, oh, yeah, have you tried swap. those other batteries out? I haven't tried the own text out today. I have just swapped cop- cotton to the kind of can of cotton. And that's that's pretty decent cotton to be fair. Have you tried it yet, Chris? I bet it tastes funny. It doesn't taste like hemp or anything. No, when it tastes funny. I just it tastes I funny. Heard it's, it's got like cottony, very cottony taste. Cotton, it tastes like cotton. Never get away. Yeah. My Let's god, go. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. Yeah. Cherry blossom. What you doing coming into my waters talking about cotton? <laughs> Cherry blossom tea by Liquid Barn. It is absolutely divine. The stuff, man. And we'll run that out. 1.25. No, the base is complete. You can push this up to about 5% if you want to. I've been running it 5% a lot of things this week. But because we're wanting that lemony kind of floatiness, we're keeping that in down low. Um, just trying to think what else. That's not bad really for a base, four flavors. Then we need to look at some kind of creaminess, which I'm going to use a little bit. Of Mollenbury cheesecake mixed with bourbon vanilla. Then I, I just want something like kind of plain tasting, a little bit plain tasting, like dairy milk. And that should oak, be. Use, use, use the oak milk. The oak milk's good, man. Mm. 
It's good for toning things down. That's like a suppressor. So I'll have a taste, see where it is, and then we might obviously I'll, I'll do like the oak milk. That's there. What does what does oak milk taste like on its own? It's really good for taming lavender and florals. It just tastes it smells oaty. Oaty without being too oaty. Is it like almond milk, kind of? Like an almond milk with a little bit of oats in is kind of what I'm getting from the sniff test. So how how are you how are you how are you doing on the uh Reby Audible life, Chris? Because um you're normally a squonk man. How are you finding the blot? Yeah, it's all right. Hello, Craig. It's, it's, it's just not a 28 millimeter nightmare, is it? I know. Let's construct this little bagger. So we've got no base, and we want to introduce. You just, you just try to rip me out here over the uh, top side death. Are they back? Are they back from the doctor's surgery? They are. One had to have new parts put in. I don't know how you brick two in a week. <laughs> you cursed. <sighs> it's just like, oh, at least I've got a spare. I'll be okay. No. <laughs> Someone, is someone yawning. Is someone yawning? It's not it's me. Me. Come on. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> right, so there we go. I'm going to increase that a little bit. I, I will make this visible and I'll post it in the description later on. But I found over the last couple of weeks when we are doing a screen share on this, it kind of it detracts quite a bit. There's no, well, there is conversation flow, just I'm not a part of it and I'm a proper naughty bastard. So I'll do a, a screenshot, drop it in group. Obviously, if anyone isn't in the group, get over to the group. If anyone isn't following the page on Facebook, we'll post hey, it. Hello, Mr. Anderson. He wants to keep an eye on us. I want to keep an eye on you, little devils, is what I want to do. Um, oh, Gareth's rebuilding the Ragnar tonight. Mr. Anderson, how are you doing? Have you tried to call Yeah, feedback on the call, like, go. Let's go! Obviously, Mr. Anderson won our little comp two weeks ago. Um, hopefully, obviously, you only need to knit up for two to, two to four days max, um, and it's good to rock, man. If there's no massive speed times with that. Right, I'm going to start mixing. Pre-steat. Um, pre state pre -state, it is. pre -state. Let's have a go. Let's mix this little bugger up. It's only an 8% recipe, this. Obviously, Favor is quite punchy. In a wear is quite punchy. You don't need to go too high. Oh, yeah, you can use in a wear as sparingly. That stuff's so strong. Yeah, mate, I've got it down to 1.25%. I want it to be a predominant flavor. That, that's equivalent of running like 6% in the uh, standard capellas and stuff. We should make some in a wear of only flavors and like try and make a 2% recipe. 2% <laughs> recipe. I was talking about this a long time ago. <laughs> Be good, man. But it's hard. It really is hard within the wearer. They have some beauties. I love the peanut. I love the apricot. But some of them are the, rank. The cactus is pretty good. Cactus is good. Mm. They do have some wicked flavours. Just people are so scared to use them. Right, so we are going for 0 0.63... Pure concentration phase going on. Do, 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 do. The old Barbie syringe. Barbie syringe. How many, how, how many Barbie syringes are out today? Five, six? Just one. You, you got, got, got your Kens ready? And obviously, tip for those that are, are new to mixing and stuff keep one syringe for one flavour. Don't go mixing your syringes about because you're going to taint them. This is why we generally use scales only, but some bottles are a little bit meh. 
and uh, quite hard to pour from. So obviously we do have we have loads of syringes kicking about, man, but I just couldn't be asked to go and get them. And they're pretty smooth pull. So if you you know got loads of a hundred of these in the the the, uh, the back of the drawer, wrap them through a steriliser, you're good to go. Right, we're on the energy drink. Let's have a look at this. Make sure you wash the cow pole out of them. Yeah. <laughs> Give them a wash, the horizon. Good to go. That's what we should do. We should do a cow pole flavour. <laughs> we probably could get it, man. We, should, I reckon we could get it. Juicy lemon. Chris, don't you like cow pole either? No. Ooh. Oh, mate. I was like a little bit of a fiend as a child. I'd be like, yeah, mum, I feel ill. Can I have some more cow pole? Thank you, Mr. Anderson. Thank you, sir. How you? How are you finding the Cloudzilla? I oh, for God's sake, you and Cloudzilla. You I need to get a room. room. Hold, hold Cloudzilla up and hold the light. I haven't, been vape, I haven't been vaping the Cloudzilla. I have been vaping Aquila Warfare. Which is like the more advanced version of Cloudzilla. Yeah. Yeah. True, we've got some tea. We're going to have some of that in now. Very I did cool. go. I have been through a 60 mil bottle of Cloudzilla since Wednesday, though. So, yeah, <laughs> and um, yeah, I, I'm about a quarter of the bottle through that, but that's just filling that thing up. <laughs> it's such a gamble with such a big RTA, though, isn't it? Like, oh, no, yeah. I've not got the when I, first, right. when I first did it, I only filled it up with five mil. To make sure my wicking was on point, and then when I open, like, you open the juice flow control, and it just bubbles down, and it just disappears into the bottom of the deck because it's an RDTA because the coils sit above the juice. And I was like, just please be wicking properly. I didn't want to commit to a full twenty mil juice, and it just pissed everywhere. <laughs> the twenty mil commitment straight off the bat. Just <laughs> <laughs> if it was like a cheap old a cheap old mod, then yeah. I ain't gonna lie. When I did when I did test the wicking, I did have it on the drag free, and it looked absolutely <laughs> stupid. <laughs> oh, mixing isn't something I would get into. It's it's so easy. It is so easy. <clears throat> as long as you've got a good palate and aren't scared of just being a little bit adventurous, it's all right. You don't even have to go the full way and get into mixing. You can just start with like bottle shots and stuff like Thank that. You. That's, That's why we just released. I was no. going to say, are they live on the site yet? They are live on the website. We've already got three flavours in our kind of drop shop kind of things, which are, you know, they, they're going down well. We have three three, three options. Yeah, they're, they're new news as well. They're ones that we don't sell in short film. Yeah, they are. Yeah. What are the flavours? Um, apple, which is a very, like, it's, a, it's kind of an apple cream. A very very nice apple cream. The other one is I can't bloody remember. <laughs> I should, should do a screen share. I should know all, all of this information off Pit Park, but you know my my brain can only hold so much information. Dragon layer. Dragon's layer. We have dragon's layer, and then we've got cherry cola. You know we, we've stripped back our vintage cola, added a bit of cherry in, and um, it's just there for people that like big balls. It's nowhere near as developed or complex as vintage cola at all. So don't be expecting, you know, vintage cola in big form. It's not. It is stripped back, but it's very, very good still. And uh, Dragon's Lair's passion fruit. Two seconds, I'll let you know exactly what it is because it's on my AR on the phone. It's Happy Shopper. Cherry cola. Yeah, pretty much. That was brutally bad. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know about Happy Shopper in London? Oh, mate, we got Happy Shopper here, mate. Don't worry about that. Have you? Yeah. They ain't actually in Happy Shopper shops, though. It's just little corner shops sell Happy Shopper stuff. Like three packs of sweets for a pound. 
I'll be all over that. Mm. So would I to be fair. Mm. Some of those chemo sweets are amazing. So you can get these like little peach things that are like gooey in the middle. Uh, I like the water. I like the blue watermelons. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting so excited. It's not so, for me. Mr. Anderson, he's got the vintage calling his arbiter and clone to let in his destiny. Both are on the desk in front of me. I have a recipe. I have a recipe. I make with peanut butter and banana. Clown to let is a big upgrade of that. Well, mate, you would love Gorilla Warfare. You would love Gorilla Warfare. Um, it's um, Gorilla Warfare is a peanut and uh, Clownzilla is an almond. But the thing with Gorilla Warfare, it's got a slight little alcohol uh, end note with the rum. It's got a little insane, touch of rum in there. It's insane good. Right, I'm just adding some VG in now. So what have I missed this week? What, what's been occurring with you guys? My skills are going to be funny. Just work, work, work. Yeah, same FFDD. old. FFDD. Football. Um... Yeah, managed to catch some Wimbledon as well. In a little bit of Wimbledon in between. Yeah. Chris is just like oh. sports. 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 I like watching tennis. I think that's probably the only one I do like. Uh, you oh, just watch but... the ladies, though, don't you? And just go like this. Yes. <laughs> we know. Yeah, with the bats. Oh. Just like oh look, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you you get that, and you want to get the view from the back. And it's just like yeah, I bet you just like this. Yes. <laughs> Why does everyone make out that I'm like some weird sexual deviant? I mean, I am some weird kind of sexual deviant, but I'm, I'm, I'm not, not a predator, man. Not That's why we're going early today. He's, he's got a batter up tonight, isn't he? <laughs> Don't know what you're on about. Don't know what you're on about. <laughs> Is it rugby season? Gonna... Yeah. See, he's see, cooking. the girl, the girls have it as well. Michelle's asking about rugby season. Yeah, the Lions tour started last weekend, I think. Yeah. So I'm not, the only I'm not the only pervert. Mm. I wouldn't even class myself as pervert. I just have eyeballs. <laughs> just, just a, just a man. I'm just, I, I have testosterone and I have eyeballs. That's enough for me. <laughs> Chris, 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 Chris is not a sexual being. Mm. Does it detract away from eating food? <laughs> That's not good. Do do do. Gonna give this a little recording. Oh. And so, what's the weather uh, like where you all are? Here, it's pissing it down. It's yeah, it's been piss, it's been pissing down all day here. It's just stopped. That's not bad, man. That's not bad. It needs a bit of sweeter in there. So, Peter, what are you doing? You're cooking her a nice dinner. Gonna get the, gonna get the candles out. Meatballs. Juice. Yeah. Bath. Run, run her a bath with some flower petals yeah. in it. You know what I mean? You know it. You know it. You know it. Get the, get the incense going. <laughs> yeah, let's just talk about my sex life today. <laughs> You'll be very disappointed. You'll be very disappointed. It'll just be, she'll walk in, you'll be sitting on the sofa with a can get yeah, fancy a bit, babe. Then <laughs> scratching one ball. <laughs> but no, I'm pa I'll pass. Don't let like gloomy over an island. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same over here. I spent all morning messing about with a DSLR, looking out the window, and it's pretty grim. It's still warm, but it's just grim out there. Right. I'm going to save this, save this recipe. Then I'll attach it to this live later if anyone wants to have a go at it. Oh. Chris, you're oh. not allowed to vape in the house. Yeah, no, I not. know. It's not allowed. <laughs> right, so Dragon's Lair is a dragon fruit, papaya, and kind of almond um, smoothie. So it's more of a, a green smoothie. It's not overly sweet. So, yeah, that, that is Dragon's Lair. And since making the, the first bottle, I just fell in love with it. It's really, really refreshing. And I love, I love smoothie type things, even though this yogurt. Curse both of you being able to vape inside. Curse you. Yeah. Oh, the, only, the only thing is, in the winter, if you're vaping, you have to constantly clean the windows. 
Uh-huh. Nah. Yeah. And it just it just lands on everything. You get it all over your electronics. It's just like yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty good, but I think we can up the um we can up if I'm getting words out, I'm just about to find it. The energy drink a little bit, so I'm gonna increase that a little bit. Let's go back into that recipe I just need. <sighs> Where are we? The float. Oh, we can increase by probably. Let's have a look. Darwin, so get it, down. Because it's a little bit lost. What is that sound? Well, like. That's it's okay. it's it's isn't it? it? Yeah, they're bridges. destroying everything. It's just like here's some wooden <laughs> blocks. I'm going to I'm going to just chew and destroy it. Oh, like, when I had a, when I was younger and I had hamsters and they chew the bars at night time, or start or start doing pull ups yeah. on the top of the cage. Stop, please. Right, so we've increased the the energy drink by one percent. Chris is the Daegu king. He is. He loves creatures, man. Loves creatures. I'll take it he's, away. He's a, he just needs to get the the eyebrow piercing that looks like it's almost gonna fall out. <laughs> <laughs> you are so bad, man. You are so bad. Carol Baskins. Um, I get two husbands. Financially get, recover. <laughs> get two husbands. Sweet. With a. Uh, <laughs> With, with one set of teeth between them. Hey, that's a full set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Wouldn't it be better for one just to not have any? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Live Lounge Liquids. <laughs> Anyone job. just tune in? Yeah, this is just the way it normally rolls. It's normally a lot worse than this. I'm too tired. <laughs> it's, it's before the watershed, so yeah. I'm a bit subdued, tired. Mm. And we're, we're not on, we're not on the bevies tonight. So I'm on no. H two O. I don't mean to be vaping so hard, you know. But I need to need to purge that idea a little bit. So there we go. I can see the screen again. That's great. That's great. So, where can I find? I'll save that and then I'll drop the link in here. Ah. So anyone wants to have a look at this one? Um, Liquidrecipes.com. What do you think? Twenty no page. Blowing it out of the window, it just comes back in. <laughs> ba, 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 da, ba, da, 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 da. Does he look like me then? Who? I'm not even watching. He's talking oh, about the, the painting above him. <laughs> <laughs> they got the expression <clears throat> right. Is that the modern just, looking little boy? It just needs a mo it just needs a mohican um a mo whatever, mo mullet. <laughs> right, me from me from when I was younger. He's very Tim Burtonish. It is. I know which paint, what, what drawing you're on about. The one like directly above Chris's head. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chewing bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Little chewing bastards. How very dare they? Sort your fucking kids out, boy. <laughs> that's me and that's me and oh, Tesco's God. mate when they're just like sort your kids out love alright so there is the recipe if anyone wants to take a look and have a little mixy mix I've just dumped that in there it, it is what it is it's, it tastes pretty much like a float <sighs> with that little bit of energy drink boost in there I'm going to use I need something to drip with We'll just pour it directly on. 
Oh, they just wanted to. They just wanted to see you. They annoy me till they get out. Yeah. Do you let them run around the house, or do they just stay in one place? Yeah. They got to have explorers, don't you? That tastes amazing on the finger, like so. What are you doing? That's delightful. Yes, that is delightful. Please go and mix that because it tastes bloody good. That is a good mix. That is a bloody fine mix. Put that in the cupboard for a couple of days. So I'm nice and warm and dark. Just like a good cellar. <laughs> <laughs> in the boys' bag. Not Fritzel. Not Fritzel. Lord Fritzel. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making me laugh and I'll be you, you little shit. You think hidden rooms are a gold mine? They're a camera <laughs> gold mine. You haven't seen shit. <laughs> I was going to say, go and bury it in the garden with um, Fred West, but. <laughs> Yeah, we, we, uh, two, two, three days and that'll be nice. Go, sl go sling it in Moors. Just come back to it in a little bit and blow up. You'll never find all of them. Uh, <laughs> go sling it in the Moors. <laughs> <laughs> sling it in the Moors for a couple of days. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> if anyone thinks Stefan should be here every week, put a thumbs up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, God. I, can't, I can't even bear for laughing. You guys are the shit bags, the proper little shit bags. Um, yeah, funny, man. Funny, funny. <laughs> but that's good. We could still in, increase energy drink a little bit more, but I'll, I'm going to give it a couple of days, see where it lies, and then do little tweaks. I won't be publishing those tweaks, but as a recipe, as it is, if anyone wants to mix it, you're more than welcome, and um, I want to develop this one over the next couple of weeks. It is really, really not bad. New hungry shots flavour. No hungry shots today. This won't be running hungry shots. It's it's tasty. So is hungry shots. That 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 sounded so bad. No, everything everything is tasty that we do. But you know, if anything is going to go into a short film, it is heavily heavily developed. You know. It's not that we don't love the hungry shots. We we still do give them time and the light of day. But if we're going to really bury our face in the liquid, then that is going to go in the wrong short films and join the rest of the beauties. Just saying. Oh, it's the way I say it, man. That does have a floatiness about it, Chris. I'm going to send you this down. That little, little hint of lemon, really, really good. Facebook user, hello, good afternoon. Gotta move quick then. <laughs> afternoon, Facebook user. Good afternoon. Hello, question mark. It's Is it Mark? Is it Shane? Is it, I don't know who it is. Reveal yourself. Someone set the fire alarm off. Two seconds. <laughs> All hail the stack. <laughs> I will be back. Oh, is your fire alarm gone off as well? No, because you'll be outside. That'll sort itself out within a minute. Meanwhile, the dog is... Oh, it's Shane. Hello, Shane. Thank you for giving permissions to StreamYard. It now owns your soul. Uh, well, I hope everything is well, mate. I had a little mix sesh with Shane yesterday. I'm going to have to open some more windows. Go and press the button. Come on.
Let it go. We'll leave the door open a little while. It is very, very big in here. One of the joys of purging your mix, your, your RDAs, anything. Um, you do have to bake it all off there, otherwise you're going to taste the flavour you had on beforehand. I just uh, fire it and blow on it. Yeah. Yeah. But with it being a series, I don't fancy um, letting it get too hot. <laughs> if it was regulated, no qualm. Yeah, that's a tasty one, man. Tasty one. A couple of days steeping. That will be absolutely delightful. And so, have we got any? Have we? Have we got any new shorties coming? Um, we are working on. We have a release coming, um, very shortly. Hopefully, two weeks time. We're just waiting for the labels to come back. Oh yeah, and I know then, which one. You know which one I'm on about. And then we are going to launch our uh, strawberry kind of milk, which is very different, very, very different strawberry milk. Um, so they are our two main ones. Now, obviously, the last week we released our custard, which is a very curious custard, Marv's Delight. And that one is going down the storm, and it is very, very tasty. So if anyone wants to try that one, get on it, because that won't last long. Um, which is why I was on the lab today mixing up batch two because um, it has been going relatively quickly which is good um, but yeah other than that you know we, we've how many releases have we done we are going to start concentrating we've done 12 releases we're looking at 14 14 releases within the year and then obviously we are bringing clothing in which has been delayed due to covid yeah just going to mute you for a second, mate, Chris, just because it is very super loud. Yeah, so we, we do have a lot coming through. Um, so we are going to take a step back from liquids and create... No, so we'll still do it with you guys, but we'll not be mixing anything for us for, for a couple of months. You know? Unless we get any great ideas for, for new um, hunger shots. I think 14 is a good number. 14 is a good number, and to have launched that within a year is probably... Pretty big sticks, isn't it? We, we've been and none of them, that. none of them are terrible. <laughs> none of them, yeah, they're, they're all right. They're all right. Seriously, though, the feedback we've been getting from our liquids, thank you all. You know, it's not arse liquory. It, it's uh, kind of a pat on the back for hard work done. So we do appreciate all of you guys. Even the, even if we get bad feedback, it's all it's all good. Yeah, it helps us. Uh, Create yeah. that product. Is this Mrs. Roberts? Is this our Jess? Is this Jess decoded? Decoded donut we did have through Algorithm Labs has now been recreated. We haven't done a butterscotch yet, though. Um, we haven't done a butterscotch, but we do have a lovely strawberry lemon elderflower donut, which is Glory Hall. Raspberry. Um, yeah, raspberry, sorry. Raspberry lemon elderflower. Jesus, so many flavors about all of these flavors. Um, so it is very good. So get that right. It's really nice. Chris loves Biscoff, and <laughs> you just can't pick one flavour to try, says Michelle. You can it. And I'm sure you're going to love that. I'll send that out to the boys all back by the end of the weekend. I promise. Mm. Um, what are you doing a Biscoff cheese crepe trifle? I'll, I'll take Chris off and mute. Chris might be up onto this one. How hard are you going to push us, Chris? How hard are you going to push me to make a trifle, especially a Biscoff one? But what about like a Biscoff, Biscoff stroke, stroke based cheesecake stroke trifle? That sounds so complex. That sounds so complex. Let's have a look. I'll, I'll put it in our little book. <laughs> I love the way he says, I love the way he says book. A little bit. <laughs> Cheesecake, cake of cheese. We have done a couple of cheesecakes, and our recipes are visible if anyone wants to try them. So I might just go back and uh, grab out, redig, and rejig. I'm loving your bubonic lad. It's my main go-to flavour. Excellent. We have people buying that by the liter, man. Shane is obviously just Shane, isn't he? lovely, lovely bloke who's um, 
just really getting involved in the lounge. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. As is everybody, you know. But it's just really nice to see lots of lovely people coming together. And no one's arse licking. No one's arse licking. Although we do pay them heavily, children. We don't. We do not. Um, people are here because they want to be. And it's really, really nice. So, yes, appreciate it, Shane. And if you need any help in your little mixing DIY journey, you know, I'm always here, mate. And uh, give us a follow on ALR, bookmark, and um, yeah, get dived in, get dived in. Which brings us back to another note. Obviously, we are, we do have a DIY following. Um, how would everyone feel about us doing DIY, DIY, DIY packs of concentrates and, and setting out like a monthly schedule? So once a month, we'll all do a mix together. Does that sound good? Or does that sound a bit too complex? Thoughts nah. in the comment. Thoughts in the comment. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, we've got the footy coming. We've got the footy. We've talked about. We've, we've touched on how to handle the troll, but not not really gone too deep into it. Um, basically, you've got to keep yourself mentally safe, mentally strong, and um, take the piss out of yourself. Don't and it, don't feed them. Yeah, and, and don't don't take it as a personal attack because you know it's just. For the best part, funny. It's just funny. They're just all... people that haven't got like they they've got trouble in their own life, so they're just venting at other people. Trolls are very sad people. Oh, we're liking this. Could we mix together on the Zoom? Sounds like it could be fun. Could be fun, right? Could be fun. Then we all throw our little takes into the, the mix and have a have a jolly good time together doing that. But yeah. Trolls be everywhere. It doesn't matter what it is. With the live mixing, if you don't like our percentages and you want something a bit stronger, you can just like smash it up stronger yourself. Exactly. Things right. down. Mm -hmm. So it's basically just tailoring it to yourself. We give you the, like the base flavour and then you can just tailor it. Yeah. Sounds good. You can, you can go away for a couple of weeks and go, oh, I did this, I did this. Try dropping it to this, try increasing that to that. Add a little bit of sweetener, add a little bit of whatever. And then we can revisit it, you know, on one of our weekly shows and just do this monthly. Sounds like a good idea. I quite like it. So we will start looking into doing that. And we'll have like a set theme. What, what do you think of those two cottons then for comparison? To completely throw off conversation. Can of cotton is really, I'm enjoying it. I haven't had to like burn it in. Which one did I try the other week? It was Shake and Bed. Shake, Shake and Bed. Shake and Bib is a really, really good budget option. Again, it's it, very little, you know, bedding time. And you get enough to fill a, a sock quite easily. It, you, that's going to last you for months and months and months. So if you're on the website... You know, how, how do you know what fills a sock up? I don't know. <laughs> quite proud that I do, though. <laughs> it's one of them little baby socks. <laughs> <laughs> Still count. Yeah. Turn, turn, <laughs> turn the mic. Turn the mic down. Tell the wrong twice, mate. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But yeah, Gareth says, uh, Mr. Anderson says, I don't mind fun trolls. No time for nasty trolls. See, I don't know. I think there's a place for all. I think there's there's a place for all. It's not nice when you you're a victim of it or watching friends and stuff going through it. But it's not done out of. It's just done to, to feed, like, not even egos, man. It, it's not done to feed egos. It's just entertainment. It's entertainment. Mm -hmm. So try not to take it. If you do become the victim of a troll, don't, don't take it to heart, man. Just take the piss out yourself or fire back. Fire it's, back. It's really, it's really good when they come up with an insult that you haven't heard before. You're like, well, oh, that was a good one. Yeah, nice, nice. Very nice. <laughs> But yeah, just just do a diss track or something. Just take the piss out and back, and don't don't take things too seriously. You only get one life. But you know you've got to live it and not not be in fear of people doing things like that. So yeah, that that is my take. And anyway, you know, don't 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 hide because and, and and I don't know. Just don't get too angry about it. Don't get angry. Just have a laugh with it. Take the piss out and back, but not in a nasty way. You know. But we're all big boys and girls. I, I, I think he does, Shane. I think they stand up by themselves. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm going under the bed to tidy up. I'll do it, love. No. 
No, I don't. Maybe when I was about 10, 12. That's how, that's, that's how, he, that's how he turns her on. That's how he gets her ready. He just pulls the socks out and starts swinging them around. <laughs> One on the end and two in the arm. And then just go, That'd be me tonight. Do you do the helicopter as well? Um, <laughs> I'm going to drink a little bit of this. One, eight, one's hanging out the back. Oh, 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 oh Stefan, I'm going to get in there. <laughs> you filthy bitches. <laughs> filthy He's got a towel. <laughs> the talk of Smegma at the moment is untrue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Uh. You guys are cruel. You're gonna miss the sock copter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Little hat, little hat for you, Willie. <laughs> Just step in the face when he's coming out with his like, yes, I got another one. I did a funny. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, it's been great, guys. Go and chill out. Go and watch the football. Just give your loved ones a hug. Or, or couple up with your dear goose. Go down for a little bit. Sock up. I want to write it down. Sock up. Sock up there. Have you ever tried the chat line with your missus yet? Do you like foul, darling? Yeah, I do. And you'll love my cock. It's fucking foul. Oh. <laughs> right. Let's go for cheesecake. I needed to write that down as well, guys. Oh, oh when she walks in, going, in. Um, when she walks in, go, babe, do you like chocolate? Well, if she says yes, go. Um, we'll pull down your Snickers and I'll give you a boost. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> <laughs> do we try any of these on your partner? Do we, do we step in? Does your, does your no, She told me to shut the fuck up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> she told me to sort my life out. You've got to be childlike, haven't you? You've got to be childlike in a relationship and feed the inner child. Mm. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm always torturing my, my partner, so poor girl has a hard time. Yeah, when we go out in public, she's like my carer. You know? <laughs> Is that how you get to go shopping with you? Yeah. Do you, do you, Only one of she's my carer. <laughs> yeah. Do you get that thing on where oh. it's like, stop it, shut up, shut up, shut up. You're embarrassing yeah, me now. You just like, or you get the look. And you're there chuckling away, yeah. You've got to do the it. Look. You, the look. The look. Um, I'm just trying to think of other things, other things. That or going to, to, going to Tesco's and like park, parking in the disabled bay and then getting out and putting the limp on so you don't get judged. <laughs> Dragging your foot. <laughs> drag your foot yeah. behind you. <laughs> and she's just like... <laughs> 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 Start pretending you've got Tourette's. <laughs> just dragging your foot, shouting. Yeah. When you start getting those weird looks, just like fling yourself on the floor and start rolling about. <laughs> yeah. Sounds, sounds good. Um, uh, but anyway, anyway, guys, it, it's been it's been a delight as always. Um, I'm not going to ask Chris to roll the VT because he hasn't got it, so I'm going to roll it. There is a typo in there, so if you pick it up, I'm going to change it. Um, stay safe, have fun, enjoy the football, love each other, and just you know have a cracking weekend. Thank you, fellas. Have you got anything to say before I click this button? See just you, like, bye. Everyone look after themselves. See you later. That's a simple one. See you all soon. Bye for now. All right, mate. Sweet. Bye. Bye.